We might be in an emotionally abusive relationship or environment and we don't even know mm -hmm. we have been emotionally abusive. As the lady like, back. Can you called the lady back and was like, is this you? Were you yeah. the one that responded? And so she was like, knows. yes, that is not true. I'm telling you, there are bosses that will make you feel like you don't know anything. You get, even, even when you, when, even after years of People that are in that field of abusing people emotionally, they tend to feed on your weakness. When we have that kind of system in a police station where they don't even take physical abuse seriously, is it now me that will now go and go to the police station and say my husband is emotionally abusing Or crosses the like, boundary for me, I immediately respond and I react in a tone that shows that you would not try this thing with me again. Hi guys, welcome to Truth and Tale podcast with your co-host Victoria and Yemi. Okay, so on today's podcast, we'll be talking about a topic that, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I feel like we don't talk about enough. I feel mm -hmm. like this particular topic is something that we, we know. We hint it, but we don't we don't give it the importance that I think it deserves because yeah. I feel like this topic or this particular issue happens more than a lot of other issues that we usually focus on. Don't worry, what I'm saying will make sense in a few minutes. Yeah. <laughs> it is much more important, you know. Much no, it's more, much more rampant. Okay, it happens more often than some of the issues that we actually talk about. Okay, it happens in marriages, it happens in offices, it, start, it happens even from parents to children, it happens from husband and wives, it happens literally everywhere. Yeah. And I believe that this particular issue is the number one cause of suicide in relationships. Yes, regardless of the kind of relationship. But okay, so what exactly are we talking about? <laughs> <laughs> so today we are talking about emotional abuse. Yes, you heard us right. Emotional mm -hmm. abuse. So to start, of course, as we usually do, we start with the truth or the tales of today. So today we're starting with yes. the truth of today, which is actually... Um, someone talking about her own truth okay so yeah you'll be taking us through that we're gonna have the truth of the day today and i'll be reading that um very quickly so it says my ex used to use the silent treatment as a way of punishment he knew how bad my anxiety was and wouldn't respond to me for days at a time now when people don't answer me i immediately panic in fear emotionally abusive relationships really F you up, <laughs> even years later. Mm. So that's that's the person's truth, and that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So the partner yeah. uses silent treatment as a way of punishment, mm. even after knowing that you know it she has really her, bad right? anxiety, mm -hmm. and she she's always in you know panic mode when things are not when people don't answer her, you know. So mm. it's more like the partner is kind of weaponizing that. Um, yeah, I yeah. don't know. He's just kind of using it against her. So yeah, that's going to be our, <laughs> our <laughs> so, truth for today. Yeah, yeah. I, I think that I, I like what you said about him weaponizing that um, trait in her because emotional mm -hmm. abuse actually is kind of. I think it's 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 it uses manipulation, right? And you know, one thing mm -hmm. about this topic that makes it so personal to me is that sometimes we can be. We can be in an emotional abusive relationship and we don't even know it okay because yeah. you know you know that that instance Absolutely. where do you know the way people talk about physical abuse like ah if he beat you leave if he touch you leave if uh, if he slap you once run away and mm -hmm. stuff like that and i absolutely absolutely agree with that i mean i don't should i was reading a story today on social media where a man actually beat his wife to death and she knew that whenever that, wow. that man is drunk like literally he gets abusive he beats her this is on the first second time it's a routine okay to the extent that when the wow. neighbors heard him beating the wife they did not even come because they know that that's their usual drill. So that's to tell you how wow. rampant it is. So unfortunately, the lady, he actually beat her to a point where she actually died, you know? So that's yes, so I, I am all for if you are being abusive physically, you should leave. But what are, another, sorry, not even a but rather, <laughs> you know, however, another aspect of abuse that we don't really focus on is emotional abuse. And I think this happens a lot in a lot of relationships. Okay. And I think we don't yeah, give it yeah. more attention because, you know, emotional abuse is not direct. It's not like when someone slaps you, ah, he has mm -hmm. an abuse. Emotional abuse, sometimes you don't even recognize it easily. Sometimes it takes you to leave that toxic environment for you to look back and realize that, wow, all this while. I have been emotionally abused. You get so that's why I feel yeah. like this topic is 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 
Ha, okay, let's let's start. Okay, let's even start from the <laughs> from the onset. Okay, what exactly is emotional abuse? And I'm not even going to pretend like I am an expert. I'm actually going to be reading from a website called Very Well Mind. I like the way they defined emotional abuse. So I'm not even going to pretend like I'm an expert okay. in the field, but I know this is something mm -hmm. that I have experienced, not in a romantic relationship, funny enough. However, in workplace, okay, in okay. several other, okay. even in churches, it happens, yes. Uh, yeah. Anyways, let, let's just go to the basic. What <laughs> exactly is emotional abuse? So I'm reading from here. All right, so according to um, Very Well Mind, um, emotional abuse is a way to control another person by using emotions, criticize, embarrass. And I want us to actually pay attention to those keywords, yes. okay? You use emotions to criticize, embarrass, shame, or blame, or manipulate another person. I'm going to say that again. To criticize. When you use... Okay, let me start. Emotional abuse is a way to control another person by using emotions to criticize, to embarrass, hmm. to shame, to blame, or to manipulate another person. In general, a relationship is emotionally abusive when there is constant pattern of abusive word, bullying. That's where I really want us, like, my focus really in. Yeah. Is, is in, okay? Bullying behaviors that wears down a person's self-esteem. That's the second key word that I want us to also, um, um, yeah. to also take note of and undermine their mental health. That's the third um, um, note. So, yes, we've talked about, you know, emo the ways you can be emotionally abusing a person, right? So, I want us to actually, I wanted us to actually recognize, or sorry, to actually take note of tho those words because, you know, sometimes we, we, we might be in an emotionally abusive relationship or environment and we don't even know mm -hmm. we have been emotionally abused like i said emotional abuse is something that is real it's something that a lot of people actually go through but sometimes you might not even know that that's what's happening to you and that's why you need to be alert it's not until a man physically abuses you we've seen a lot of women that actually commit suicide you get because of their mm -hmm. being emotional ab emotionally abused and like i said our culture okay uh, uh, kind of i don't know you know, for guys now, they always say, oh, you're a man, so don't show yeah. your emotion, okay? So when you're going through things, you try, you repress yes. it, okay? Yeah. As female also, they will tell you, oh, you're a woman, you're supposed to hold your house together. Mm -hmm. My husband is cheating on me. Mm -hmm. It's emotionally abusing because I'm, I'm thinking, I am depressed, I am, I, am, I am down, I don't have anyone to call on. That is emotional abuse. Look at the man that the husband, I've been in the same house, the, the story we just read, oh, sorry, the truth, um, Yemi just took us through. Mm -hmm. It's in the same house, but he's not talking to me. That is, it's affecting my emotions. It's I could relate to what this person said, this truth, because there was a time in my life where I couldn't process my own emotions properly myself. I used the silent treatment. And it wasn't be because I wanted to... Don't control. we all... No, no, you know, <laughs> I, I really want us to, you know, to point out this, because I know that a yeah. lot of people, like, yeah. they use this silent Women, treatment especially. at a point in their life. or mm. So they don't confuse that, or they don't think that is the only expression of emotional abuse. No. When so, we have that kind of systems in a police station where they don't even take physical abuse seriously, is it now me that will now go and go to the police station and say my husband is emotionally abusing me? Like, and that's why I, I love channels that help people to process their emotions. I love websites like this one we just read from where you get to read and to understand that you are not alone. You are not alone. Because when you talk to women who are in this situation, what they will tell you is that, oh, everybody has their own issues, dearie. I cannot, who do I want to go and meet? Because they know that their friends are actually going through the same thing. People that are in that field of abusing people emotionally, they tend to feed on your weakness. And the thing is that even the person that is being abused, they are, they are also going through some form of emotional issues. They are not balanced mm -hmm. emotionally. So once they see someone that comes, you know, and, you know, tells them that, oh, I like you, I love you, you are perfect, you are this, they let go easily. They, they, they become so um, vulnerable, or what, what's the word now? They can open up, they, they, like, they open up really bad that if the person is an abuser, they, they've, like, they've just, they have a hold on you already without even doing so much work. So they would use words to shame you, they will use words to mm. blame you, they will use words to make you feel like your feelings are not valid. So even when you try to um, yeah. express yourself, they'll be like, yeah. oh, but you know, gaslighting you, 
do all sorts that you, you you feel like you're even the problem you know there's a way that they will talk to you that you feel like you are even the problem sometimes mm. some people will be emotionally abused and you find them even apologizing to their abuser 